Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, September 7th, 2012. Our top story comes from the world of chemistry, particularly organic chemistry. Scientists at Northwest University have created a computer network called Chematica that contains 250 years of chemistry knowledge. It contains information on 7 million chemicals and how they interact with each other, but this system is more than just a database. After about a decade of development, software uses algorithms to optimize the synthesis of compounds, searching through every possible path to get the desired product. Removing just a few steps from the synthesis process can greatly reduce the time and cost. The algorithms can even have constraints put on them, for example, finding a series of reactions that lead to a product, but avoiding chemicals that are hazardous to the environment. Of particular interest is one-pot synthesis, in which all necessary reactants are mixed together in one container and results in a desired chemical. Since this is a very simple way of synthesis, a lot of companies want a one-pot procedure, and Chematica predicted 30 such procedures. All 30 were tested and the reactions went exactly as predicted, with one very interesting example being at the synthesis of an asthma drug. Normally it takes four steps involving synthesis and purification, but the predicted one-step process also worked, producing a high yield and greatly reducing production costs. Finally, this system has one more potential function, helping prevent the development of chemical weapons. Right now, governments track and regulate specific chemicals that could be turned into a bomb or other weapon somewhat easily. However, using Chematica, suspicious combinations of more common materials could be flagged as potentially dangerous, because the system could basically figure out every possible method for making chemical weapons. Either way, this system is an extremely valuable tool for scientists and will hopefully accelerate organic chemistry research. Next is an update from the world of agriculture. Now this story is not really science news like a discovery or development, but is some pretty important news nonetheless. On August 8th, California issued an emergency alert, putting farms into quarantine and taking other measures, all because 13 flies were spotted. Obviously, these aren't any ordinary flies, but actually one of the most destructive pests for fruit and vegetable production, the oriental fruit fly. Only 13 individual insects can cause this kind of reaction, and rightly so, as they breed rapidly and can infest 230 known crop species. Oriental fruit flies aren't very common outside of Southeast Asia, but increased sightings like the recent one are happening in California, Florida, and Hawaii. However, in Taiwan, this pest is pretty much a constant issue for farmers. So a group at the National Taiwan University are upgrading how fly populations are monitored. Right now, farms have fly traps that are manually checked every 10 days, and if the number caught exceeds 1,024, a red alert is issued which puts the area in lockdown similar to what's happening in California. But in an effort to make things more automated, the university team has started setting up traps with automated counting systems. These new traps also contain weather sensors and send information to a central system every 30 minutes. And this system contains machine learning algorithms. Using these algorithms, various factors are considered and used to predict when a fly population is about to explode. Using historical data from old traps, the artificial intelligence system could predict outbreaks 88% of the time. Larger implementation of this system will hopefully save farmers money, allowing them to use pesticides more carefully and reducing overall damage from the fruit flies by an estimated 50%. If more outbreaks happen in North America, this system could also be very helpful, especially as global climate change is expected to make more areas hospitable to the species. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.